sandy beaches other places that sand are hey guys welcome back to spike i'm kai and today we are back in a sprite once again taking a look at how to create a sand texture that was a lot of that was a lot of words that just rattled off at the same time there i can't believe i didn't slur not one of those all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new image in my image right now it's 32 by 32 if i'm not mistaken um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and instantly grab a new palette. We're going to create a new palette today. And this new palette is, uh, is going to have a couple different colors in it. And what I want to do here is um, I'm going to grab an orangey-like sand color or something like that maybe. And we're going to fill that with a G key right there. It looks, a pretty, looks like a pretty good color for sand, right? I'm going to actually hit this uh, exploration point to add that to the palette. I'm going to move this up above everything and get rid of all the ones we don't need. So... Uh, with, uh, with that color right there, I want to go ahead and darken a little bit and maybe change it a little bit to the orange. Hit that exclamation point once again. So now we have two different colors for the sand. I want to go ahead and, um, and create some lines here. Lines I'm going to create. I'm going to do this in tiled mode so we can get them perfect. I'm going to go up to, it was that view tiled mode, both in, uh, tiled in both axis. And, um, starting up at the top here, I want to kind of create some kind of squigglies, Right, some squiggly lines there, and I want to try and connect them as closely as possible without trying to make them look like they're connected. I want to just have like a a flowing a flowing line here, right? Which is kind of difficult to do, but we can we can take this and we can fix that up. Um, that might be a little too curvy, so let's do it one more time. One more time. One more time. All right, I think it looks better. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm getting all picky and stuff. All right, one more time. One more time. I promise you. All right, that one looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's pretty good. And what I want to do now is we'll go ahead and um, and create a couple more lines within within those. So we'll, we'll lighten this color up. We'll take the base color that we had, and we'll darken that just a little bit, maybe a little bit to the orange side, and add that one as well. So this is just a little bit lighter. Um, then the other one, we'll go ahead and create some more lines in there. This might be a little too dark, so we'll go ahead and we'll fix that later. Um, but for now, we'll just use it. We'll go ahead, do something like that, maybe, and down and across right there. Um, and then we'll lighten this up a bit because it's too it's too dark. Uh, no, this one right here, we'll lighten that um, by going up to Edit, Replace Color, and uh, we'll select... Select that color and we'll change it initially to the base color and then we'll just darken that. Right, we'll darken it a little bit. Uh, something like uh, something like that, maybe. Maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, sure. All right, so that was pretty good so far. What I'm going to do is we take a look at what our actual sand color, what our actual sand um, is looking like here. So we'll untile it for a second and we'll untile it for a second. There we go. So that's what, sand, that's what our sand's looking like so far. What I want to do is I want to add in some speckles. So I'll, I'll change this to more of a yellow color and lighten it up a bit. Right. Hit the exclamation point. Add that to the game. Add that to the game. Um, maybe we'll make it a little more. Eh. It's a little too pink now. Go ahead. Maybe that looks pretty good. All right. So we'll go ahead and just create a couple of random dots here and there right just as some of the speckles of the sand i suppose and we'll get rid of these three because we don't need them uh delete 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 all right so if we go ahead and tile this again uh um you should be able to see that we have a couple things now these are too close together which is why you always want to look at tiled mode uh, these are too close together so we'll get rid of those and that looks a bit weird so less is more Go ahead with something like that, maybe. Maybe this one's in the way. Yeah, I think so. And now this, these are too close together. You know, let's just do all of them in tiled mode. See, this is what I'm talking about. I love to do things in tiled mode because you can always see what looks weird. Uh, so we'll go maybe about there and one up here. Yeah, sure. Looks pretty good. Um, what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead... And uh, with this little bit of the darker color that we have here, I kind of want to... I know what you're thinking, but I do want to redo that baseline again. <laughs> I know, it's insane. Uh, so I'm just going to, instead of doing that squiggly line, we're just going to go down with it. We're just going to do, we're just going to go all the way... All the way across and try and go 
a little curved something a little more curved there we go something like that and I want to get rid of all these jaggies so what we'll do is we'll go pixel perfect and do that one more time there we go that looks uh, pretty much perfect I suppose yeah it looks pretty good um, so once again we can take a look at our our base uh, square which is just that right there um, I want to add in a little bit more texture to this so we'll go ahead and we'll I drop I keep doing that well I drop that lighter color right there the lighter of the darks um, and I'll go ahead and and we'll paint in some of that right just a little bit just to give it a little bit of texture here here and there right maybe we'll add a little bit of pink in there and we'll darken it up a little bit and desaturate it something like that maybe looks pretty good uh, I'm thinking that uh, we might be almost done so far here what I want to do is go ahead and take this time to uh, add in a little bit of lighter color since we have uh, uh, a lot of dark colors here so I'll go ahead and lighten this palette and change a little bit more to the red there and um, uh, now see we're getting we're getting to that we'll change a little bit more to the lighter colors here we'll do something like this for the time being but I know I'm gonna change that so um, we'll just do that and uh, and we'll create a little bit of highlights within the sand right a little bit of highlights just a little bit just going through in these any blank spaces I see I'm kind of just trying to fill those because I don't want the sand to be uh, as I, I don't want I want to be as less smooth as is possible so we'll go ahead and do something like that I'm getting kind of crazy now I'll go ahead and untile this so we can change that color really quickly um, and it's not I don't, I don't want to change that much just a little bit we'll go ahead and change that to the base uh, like we did before and then we'll just lighten it a little bit um, lighten it a little bit maybe change it a little to the pink a little to the yellow sorry um, saturated a little bit, lighten it a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. It's just a little bit darker than it was before. Um, just a little bit. You see the difference right there? Just taking that little edge off of it. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think that is actually going to be it for our, our sand. Um, from far away, it looks kind of weird. But right there, that's the size we're looking at right there. That's what we need for the sand we can actually lighten this a little bit because those lines might be a little dark for sand so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer and instead of doing every single one over again I'll just take the base color and we'll we'll do that we'll, we'll, we'll bucket fill it with G and we'll go to properties and we'll just drop that opacity down make that sand a little less harsh maybe something like that we might even go ahead and hit overlay maybe not, not maybe not overlay hard light uh, I don't think we're gonna use it. Ooh, maybe maybe we will do overlay maybe overlay looks a bit uh, screen yeah we'll do screen we'll do a screen to give it that that lighter sandy feel um, so that looks pretty good right there for our sand I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it I, I love doing these uh, these pixel art texture tutorials let me know what you want to see in the next tutorial let me know what kind of texture what kind of uh, pixel art you want to see in the next tutorial I'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye